Oh, you'll be stopping in Oregon and Pennsylvania. Yeah, those places will probably pay, have snow in January. Jay, are you in Canada or something? I don't think Canada is a good... What was that, like, dash drop there? Michigan. Okay. Close enough. <laughs> I'm just joking. I didn't dash that time. I'm doing a ton of spins, though. to at some point in the stream go to some casual Octopath playing, but at the same time, I like, have never played Octopath on stream. So I don't know if that would be weird to randomly start casually streaming a game that I've never casually streamed in the middle of the game. Maybe, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with these 24 hours once I'm tired of this game. I do- I will probably- Games I can guarantee will get played at some point during this stream are Bit Evolution and Crypt of the Necrodancer. Uh, and Odyssey. Actually, Mario Odyssey. Because tonight is the normal, uh, talk a two night with the group that I'm in. So, I might be doing the talk a two race. And I might just do, like, PB attempts, I don't know. I finally got the 117 a little while ago over winter break, but it was bad. I know, Jay, you were learning Odyssey. How's your Odyssey learning going, Jay? That's a good first run. That was good. This is gonna save time. Despite that miss, I'm still gonna save time. Damn it. I should have saved another point one second. Okay, I hit that switch, I guess, now. <laughs> yeah, I remember my first run of Odyssey was like a week after the game came out. I got a 132. Routes were like just finished on their first refine. Routes were complicated in the early Odyssey days because we had to, like, make sacrifices because we didn't know stuff like Sphinx would. So we knew the Sphinx was slow. Wooded is a route that's actually stayed fairly consistent to itself for a very long time. Um, even in the wake of Nutcliffe. <laughs> yeah, I remember... The thing was, I had, I legitimately had it in me 
to be like really good at the release of the game. However, by the, I, I had problems like just getting runs going because I wasn't proud of runs. And by the time I was finally at a point where I was okay with letting runs finish, uh, I was already like behind the competition. So I just kind of wasn't motivated to keep trying to not be behind the competition. But my PB now is like a 117. I got it over winter break. I got a PB in November, and then my next PB was the 117. I had said in November when I got a 119.08 after like a choked ending that I wanted to get uh I wanted to get sub uh 118. I didn't want to touch 118 at all. And I finally did it like 13 months after I said I wanted to go for it. I don't know why this dashing is happening, because, like, one, I'm not holding a direction on... I'm not holding a side direction, and two, I don't even... Oh, oh, that's just an aerial attack in general. I thought you had to be dashing to do that. No, that's just a general aerial attack. Okay. Yeah, it surely is. Odyssey's hard. But it's fun every now and then. Oh yeah, no, Casual Odyssey is a ton of fun. It's such a good game to explore. I enjoyed exploring Odyssey more than Breath of the Wild. Honestly. Just because I feel like... It went for... Because like 880 moons and 100 purple coins is still like a lot of stuff. Okay, I missed that. So time to loop. Go in the door. Has zero. Um, but Odyssey, I feel like it tried to fit a very high amount of content into its exploration, like Breath of the Wild did. Um, but it was a much smaller landscapes in Mario Odyssey, so I feel like it worked out because it felt rewarding, like. It didn't feel rewarding, I guess. This is not the right word to use for it, but it felt like I was actually finding things, even if they weren't very well hinted at in some cases. Where, like, in Breath of the Wild, I feel like I'm not finding things on purpose. I feel like I'm just stumbling into things, which I know is the atmosphere I, the game wanted to have. It wanted to have, this, like, the exploration, you don't know what you're gonna find thing. But I kind of don't like that. A huge reason why I like platformers and stuff, and why they're the games I run the most, is because I like having a goal in mind. You know, I like being able to say, hey, I know where I'm going, I know what I'm doing, where I'm going, and I'm gonna enjoy that. But in Breath of the Wild, just like, it's super pretty, and exploration is fun, but I feel like there's no satisfaction to anything I found other than I found it. Meanwhile, in Odyssey, it's just like, hey, I have some stuff to do that I know to do, so I'm gonna do it. And it feels like I'm accomplishing things instead of just, you know, setting myself a challenge. I don't know how to explain it, because I'm not good at video games. I don't have good opinions. I tried running Breath of the Wild, but I didn't I didn't get to do it correctly. I'm gonna run a little bit here to not get honked. Not get conked on the head. Yeah, I'm not good with explanations either. Albino's playing Monster Hunter. He's been streaming really early recently, Albino. I wonder if he's gonna stream today. I've not caught his past few streams, and I've kind of been upset about it, because it's been like while I was, not while I was at school, but like while I was actually streaming myself. Because, you know, I like to stream like as soon as I get home from school. But that didn't work, but like that overlaps with some people I like watching.
All right, good night, Liam. Octopath is really pretty. <laughs> Octopath might honestly be like my game of 2018. I keep not getting around to game like my favorite games of a year until like the January of the next year. Like remember what the case was in 2016 going into 2017 like but like I didn't get to play hat in time until early 2018 um, and I didn't get to play Octopath until early 2019 because like I was dead set back in like beginning of 2018 that Cuphead was my get best was like my best game of 2017 and then like within the first quarter of uh 20 within the first quarter of 2018 that opinion changed when I knew about a hat in time and that's my that's my that's still my favorite game of all time like I talk a lot of good about Octopath on my like Twitter and stuff, but my my best my favorite game ever is Hat in Time. That's fair, yeah, Jay. All these blocks. <laughs> Fucking hell. I know exactly what game you're talking about, and I love that game too. Yo. Good luck, cat. How are you? My favorite cool math game is Math Man. Actually, one I played a lot when I was like younger, even though it's absolutely the worst game ever, just because I really like Pac Man. Um, I think one of my Joy Cons just kind of had a moment. Go, go down! <laughs> the Penguin Brothers Forever? I did not read that this morning, so obviously my morning was not as good as yours.
I'll read this out on stream. If it's appropriate. Is it appropriate to read out on stream, cat? Q. <laughs> Poor Q. Appropriate? Okay, I'll read it out on stream after this run. do it. You got time. You got time to prepare. Go in the door. Barbecues. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. That was such a bad level 3 checkpoint. <laughs> Poor cubes. Oh no. that my level 3 in PvP was like ungodly levels of good because like this is just atrocious right now. Always forget about this room and its existence. Hell yeah. I love the squeaks. I love Squeak Squad so much. It's one of my favorite. It's in my top three, probably. Next to Robobot and whatever else is in my top three. All I know is that Robobot is my favorite Kirby game. Do I think I'll ever run Squeak Squad again? It's no. I am honestly just not a fan of running the kind of that era of Kirby games. Because I've also tried running like... I've tried running Nightmare in Dreamland and uh, Amazing Mirror before. And I just don't like those ones either. Although my opinion of Metroidvanias has, you know, became a lot more positive since the last time I ran Amazing Mirror, so maybe I'd like it more? I, I don't know. This 
was on DS. Do you remember anything else about it? Or do you just remember that it was on DS? Get off of the thingy. I could, like, suck power-ups. Yeah, that sounds like a Kirby game. <laughs> there were a lot of them. Okay, still a sub-5. Not bad. Yeah, either Superstar Ultra or Super Weak Squad, because saying you can suck power-ups actually does narrow down two of the DS games. Because Mass Attack, you just kind of dash into enemies and... No, other way around. Canvas Curse, you just kind of dash into enemies, and Mass Attack, you should never play. Just kidding. I like Mass Attack, actually. It wasn't 3DS. So, it wasn't Triple Deluxe or Robobot, which I'd recommend playing those. Squeak Squad is also DS, yeah. Squeak Squad has the bubbles. And treasure chests. Well, there was also a mode in Superstar Ultra that had treasure chests in them. If there's a yo yo power up, then Superstar Ultra. If it's a DS game with a yo-yo power-up, there, there's no other options. Yeah. Yo-yo. Yo-yo is such a weird power-up, but it's, like, actually pretty alright. I mean, I guess it was created in the mid-90s. Hell yeah. I don't know if I'd call myself a Kirby nerd, I just really like the series a lot. And, I don't know. Yes! Partners in Time is the best Mario and Luigi game. Fight me. You're not gonna fight me, because I'm right. <laughs> Do it, come on. Swim into it. Dang it, I wanted to watch more of my allies swim right into the Gordos. Yeah, yeah, that one's really good. I remember I got once a copy of Paper Jam exclusively to run it. And I never ended up doing that because I couldn't get like the first skip in the run. Bowser's in time evolution. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the best Mario and Luigi game is Robobot. <laughs> Paper Mario, sticker stuff. Thank you for saying that's a good game. Because I get so many people on my case when I say it's a good game. It's a really good game. I really like that game a lot, actually. Paper Mario fan. Can I switch, please? I'm gonna lose a lot of time here. Yeah. Sit 
Super is really good. I love Super. Even though it's probably like the least of the tra like the least traditional of RPGs, it's just still a really good game. People who hate, hate how is it possible to hate every single Mario game? Like I know they all have problems, but like Oh, fuck. I got Did I what happened there? I don't even know what I did. <laughs> Everyone's gonna tell you to play Thousand Year Door. I don't think we need a new Thousand Year Door. Everyone's saying we should get Paper Mario back by... The thing is, like, pe fans like that that are... saying that we need a Thousand Year Door remake... They're, they're not even, like... They're basically the Gen 1ers of Paper Mario fans. Like, that's my take on the matter. Like, so many, there's so many people that say we need to make Paper Mario, like, back to its old roots. And then when I ask them about, like, Paper Mario 64, they say it's bad. Like. I hope Paper Mario gets a good game on the Switch, because being able to bring that game anywhere is a must. Like, that's a good thing about Octopath. It's a, like, it's good that it's the Switch exclusive, because it's an RPG that actually is, like, really good to play while traveling. Because of the way it's structured. I won't go, th I'd go that extreme, actually. Never mind, don't listen to me. Melee and Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door are the same thing in that they're both not part of the Smash community. Ultimate was your first? Wow. Ultimate is weird, because it's definitely like the most fan service pandery one of the bunch. You know, based on the way it plays, but like... It's not a bad first game, I guess. Like, I would never recommend Star Allies as somebody's first Kirby game. I'd always suggest that somebody play some of, like, the early 2000s Kirby games before they ever play the modern ones. Like, if you asked I want to get into the Kirby series, I'd probably say Superstar, Ultra, and Nightmare and Dreamland are the best first games to play. And then after that, you can kind of take two paths. You can take either... You know, go through the modern classics like uh, Dreamland 3, uh, 64, maybe Adventure if you really want to try Adventure, because Adventure is something. Um, but. Yeah, like. Or you can do. But, like, if you don't want to do the retro, uh, the retro games, you can go on to the modern games, you know. Um, Return to Dreamland. Triple Deluxe and Star, or not Star Allies, but, um, Robobot. And then after Robobot, after, like, you do, after you finish one of the pathways there, like, either, like, play in Dreamland 3 and 64, or play in, like, Return to Dreamland, Triple Deluxe, and Robobot, I feel like at that point, you're, like, free to jump into spinoffs. You can play Air Ride at any time, because Air Ride is great, but, like, I feel like... To appreciate a Kirby spinoff, you have to, uh, you have to know the normal Kirby formula enough to 
appreciate the way a spin-off changes the game while still feeling like Kirby. Oh yeah, no, it's definitely not a bad thing, fan service. It's just it just makes the game that you're playing harder to get into at a starting point. I feel like in order to improve on Smash when coming to the Switch, Ultimate is definitely what they needed to do. <laughs> Strikers, oh my god, please. Yeah, like, I feel like when incoming to the Switch, Ultimate was exactly what Smash needed to do. It needed to just be something that, you know, could only work on the Switch. Because that's the thing about the Switch. In order for the Switch to, like, be the good console it is, it needs to, like, be something that, like, it already has that with the whole handheld thingy. But it just, like, needs to be something that nothing else can be. And I feel like Ultimate was one of the best ways to go about that. I also messed up the route horribly. That works. Don't pause. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I mean Pac-Man and Falco. Happiness, you can speed on just about anything if you put time into playing it. Oh, I'm stupid. I did not kill the ice guys before switching. That's a really bad ending. I fucked that up. That's that's a that's a fault of my own though. I do, because I like running a lot of games. No! Let go of me! Where am I? Why am I Francisca? What happened? My brain cannot register what just happened. I made this cycle though, so I don't need to register. I just need to speed. <laughs> okay, have fun with that. Have fun being a game. That's me too, don't worry. We're all inclusive here. We're all a little bit dumb. What happened there? My dash just like hella died. There's a season two. I don't even know. I've not even seen anything in season one. I don't really watch anime though. Something I should get into. I should get into also doing the inputs in this game right. Because that seems like a lot of enjoyment could be have out of be had out of that. Thank you. 
This is fucked. That was so messed up. Wait, why did I- what- What happened to my inputs? It dropped my A input when I held the button down. Where's the fight? There it is. This game drops inputs like way too much, honestly. Okay, please. Please! Thank you. This run is not gonna PB anymore. Especially when that happens! Why were you not moving? The way I was holding the stick. Star ally, where is my dash? Well, if there's any constellation, I do have a full health bar for Morpho Knight now. Because of that death. Not gonna PB. This is not a PB. He does so much damage. Where is this coming from? Where is this neutral air coming from when I'm holding up? Like, you can see me floating as I'm doing the attack. That means I'm holding up. That's how Mafia works. Oh, okay. Hi, Avisaur, how are you? Is that another PB? What? <laughs> what? How? How is that over 30 seconds? What? Oh, right. Level 4. <laughs> I saved 20 something seconds on level 4. Okay, so let's see. I have an extra death compared to the last PB. Like, this is a 2 death PB now. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Over world record, I can still save 25 on level 1. Let's see, I saved 10 seconds, so... I can still save 35 on level 2. Level 3, I can still save... Uh, 45 seconds over world record there. And then let's see, level 2... I can still save, like, 40 seconds over world record on that split alone. A little bit less on the best time, but on the clear time. And then I can save maybe about 150 still on the last level. My last level's really bad. I need to, like... I don't know what's up with it, honestly. Like, I need to watch that, because I can save well over a minute there. That run was so stupid. <laughs> Did I screenshot that? Okay. Sub 38 RTA, I guess, is cool. <laughs> Even though we don't use that. Alright, let's see. 405 flat. 
I remember I saw a screenshot on Twitter recently, and somebody got a glitch, and they had, like, two of Flamberges on the victory screen, and they took a screenshot of it. But then they posted the screenshot to Twitter just because, um... They somehow, on that checkpoint, got a time of 4.20.69. 25. <laughs> 25.85. And then let's see, we got 7.20.14. I guess the death I had on that part is less costly than a Morpho Knight death. 